In this video, I want to talk about how we go about testing hypotheses about parameters. And in specific, I'm going to talk about how we test hypotheses about one linear combination of parameters. So let's imagine we have a model. So the idea is that we are investigating the various factors which influence an individual's test scores. So this could be an individual's SAT scores, for example. And one of the explanatory variables is class attendance. And then we're also including the father's level of education as well as the mother's level of education as explanatory factors in our regression. Okay, so let's say that we were interested in testing whether it was the case that the effect of father's education, so beta 2, was in fact equal to beta 3 in the population. So that's the null hypothesis, and the alternative hypothesis is that beta 2 does not equal beta 3. So how do we go about testing this? Well, remember how we sort of did it when we were testing for whether a parameter was equal to a certain value? So if we were testing whether it was the case that beta 2 was equal to 1, the t statistic we formed was our least squares estimate of beta 2, beta 2 hat, minus the number which we're testing against, 1, and then we divided through by the standard error in beta 2 hat. So that was fine when we were testing against just a number. But here the t statistic is going to take on a slightly different form. Not, not significantly different, but a bit different. And here the t statistic is equal to beta 2 hat minus beta 3 hat. So the top is quite similar. We're just using replacing 1 with our estimate of beta 3, which is beta 3 hat. But the denominator is slightly different because whereas here we only had one random variable, we had this beta 2 hat, here we actually have two random variables, beta 2 hat and beta 3 hat. So we have to take into account both of their sampling variances. And in specific, we divide through by the standard error of beta 2 hat minus beta 3 hat. Okay, so this denominator here you might think that in order to get this, all we need to know is the standard error of beta 2 hat and the standard error of beta 3 hat. But you would be wrong. And the reason you'd be wrong is because if you remember, if we have like the variance of beta 2 hat minus beta 3 hat, we know that this is equal to the variance of beta 2 hat plus the variance of beta 3 hat minus 2 times the covariance of beta 2 hat with beta 3 hat. So we have to know this covariance term here in order to work out the variance. And the standard error works exactly the same. Essentially the standard error is like this, the standard error of beta 2 hat minus beta 3 hat is equal to the standard error of beta 2 hat plus plus the standard error of beta 3 hat minus 2 times the estimator for the covariance between these two estimators, which I'm going to call S23, and it's all this to the power half, because remember that the standard error is our estimator for the sum, or for the standard deviation, rather. So, in theory, you can get this number here from statistical software programs, um, because, we, remember, we get these two standard errors by default, but we have to do a bit of digging to get this particular number here. And if you do that, that's fine. And then all you do is you just do a t-test uh, against a t-distribution with n minus k degrees of freedom, where k is the number of independent variables, including the constant. So here, k would be equal to, well, if we look up at the top here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So it would be n minus 4 degrees of freedom here. So that's one way of testing a hypothesis about a linear combination of parameters, but I want to introduce another way. And it's to recognise that if this null hypothesis is true here, then it should be the case that beta 2 minus beta 3 is equal to 0. Because if it's not equal to 0, then we've got a violation of that condition. Well, let's assume that this instead of being equal to zero, is equal to some amount delta. And in the next video, we're actually going to use that to help us test this particular hypothesis about parameters. I'll see you then.